All right, this is me, Tony, secondhand Daisy. Um, this is all the stuff I got today. Uh, no rhyme or reason. I'm in a super rush. I got a lot of stuff going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through it. I'll start here. I barely got any video games. So if you like video games, then you don't even have to hang out. Ugh. All right. I'm not going to remember what I paid for everything. Some of it was really cheap. Some of it was uh, not. I need glasses. All right, I'm going to start at this side. Uh, what is this? It's a bug. <laughs> uh, praying mantis. Okay. Uh, Loy, Roy Luciana. R O Y L U C I A N N A. All right. Uh, see, I, I'm assuming it's a watercolor. That's kind of cool. 2004. It's not old. All right, who's this? Here's another page. I paid five and I paid five for these at a house sale. This is done by someone named... It's either N-O... N-O-R-E-U or N-O-B-E-U or something like that. You're gonna get real close so you can see it. All right? And it's kind of cool. It's just a painting of like a, a car, a, a, a nice old classic car. Uh, dated 1955, whatever that emblem stands for, with uh, a pretty hot lady leaning up on against it. This is something Pokemon. I actually found the bag. And, you know, I was like, oh, look at the bag. I don't think this is, oh, it's Ionix. But it came with this. It was like three bucks or something. I actually probably shouldn't even bought it, but whatever. Um... This is kind of neat. I think it's like a resin. And it's a woman. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I don't think it's signed or anything. It's got a crack in her chin. I think it's... I think it's a resin. You know? Or something like that. It's definitely old-ish. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's very cartoonish. If I can figure out who made this, it could be good. It's like a bathing beauty kind of sculpture. But look at look at the face and the lips. See the hat? That's what they used to wear when they went to beach back in like in olden days, I think. All right, but I don't think it's that old. I think it's probably 70s. Um, this, was, this is a bank, Darth Maul. I think it does stuff. I don't know what this is. Uh, it does need a battery, optional motor battery case for extending long hour. IC battery case. It's got a lot of battery cases. My phone's going off like crazy. Uh, people are trying. But it was $5. I, I don't know. I don't have time to figure this out today, so I'll figure it out. Like, Quinn Gun, Qui Gun, Jin. Star Wars. That's, uh, what's his name? Uh, taken. Liam Neeson. I have a very specific set of skills. And, I, and now I've been given a lightsaber, so I'm like 50 times more dangerous with my set of skills. Uh, I was also Darkman a long time ago, and I had the power of rage. So uh, basically, I've kept the power of rage. Don't mess with me, or I will lightsaber you in the uh, privates. Uh, and this is the other guy, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. This was $3. I don't know. These are some kind of banks. I don't know what the deal is with them, but for that price, who cares? Uh, you know what? I should have dumped the jewelry out. Let's see if we can do this with one hand while I'm here. I'm not stopping because then I have to edit this, and it takes me longer to edit it than anything else. All right. These, this is just a long glass bead necklace. This is nice. This is flapper length, so it's probably anywhere from 20s to 40s. She paid $4 for it. Uh, this isn't... I think it's Sarah Coventry. Yeah, Sarah Cove. And it looks to be some kind of pendant. Alright. These are Taxco earrings. Probably worth 20 bucks on eBay. Uh, for a quarter piece, I got a bunch of these. This one says Liberty Mutual Insurance. This was a nice ring. It's marcasite, it's silver, seashell, starfish, but we found a little teeny chip. She was probably going to put it on eBay, but now she's not. One, one of these, there it is right there. The pedal right there. 
Uh, that's a little chip. For what she paid for it, it doesn't matter. Here's another Swarovski heart. Let me get my fingernail out of the way. Okay, we've been paying... It's probably signed with a swan. Yeah, it's got the swan under... I don't know if you can see it, but it's 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 right here, all right? Uh, she's been selling us for 20 bucks on eBay. Here's a Heineken thing. I paid a quarter piece for these. Uh, this is nice. This feels like plastic. No, actually, wait a minute. I think it's bone. Let me just... Yeah, it's bone or glass. It's probably glass. But this looks old. This looks like 19... Uh, where is it? Look at that clasp. Can I point at it? Yeah, okay, yeah. Right there. Yeah, that's a nice old glass. Glass. So this is probably from the 20s. She said she has a chain for this. All right. Let's back up a little. Bit. Uh, she bought this to wear on Fourth of July. Uh, all the stones are prong set. It's got a little piece of hair. Came for free. Um, she already figured out who makes this. It's it's like it's hallmarked KK on the back, not KKK. So it's not the Ku Klux Klan. Uh, KK, and that stands for a name. She said it was like Case Cubs. I don't know. Okay, it's another pin. That was a quarter. This is a GMC pin. Hmm. I don't know. These are a quarter, so we're just buying them. I'm not even sure what this is. Let me see if I can. I'll figure it out another time. All right. Uh, motor. Trend. <laughs> How's it going, Motorhead? Truck of the a year. Uh, Ford pink ribbon for breast cancer. That's got the Statue of Liberty stamp. That's, uh, I guess, Chrysler, Chevrolet. I don't know cars. Uh, core, power, something to do with the Olympics. Um, stamp. These Kenobi things, I'm going to look them up later. The Star Wars figures. This, I don't know what it is. I really, I don't have a lot of time. Bucket, Beer Fest, Bike to Beer Fest 2012. Don't know why she got that. Uh, it's got Coca-Cola. It's something Olympics. It's got Coca-Cola and uh, other advertising on it. All right. Uh, here's another car emblem. Like a hood ornament. And this is Sterling. At first she thought it had something to do with Build-A-Beer. But she couldn't find anything like it. So it's like a bear paw print. And it's Mark Sterling on the back, right there. She's going to look it up. I'll figure it out later. Uh, in case you didn't know, this this is used for opening up uh, jars. The ones get really stiff. You fit this on, you twist it, and it opens up. This is, I don't know, is it Transformer or something? I don't know. Uh, here's an old knife. I, I don't know anything about knives, but it was, like, old-looking. Maybe it's for shucking clams. Is that is that what you do with clams? You shuck them? I don't know. It's got this neat little, uh... C-E-A, C-E-A. Um, thing. What do you call it? Knife belt attachment. Um, these, I think, were like a quarter... No, I think this stuff was 50 cents a piece. So here's just some assorted toy figures. Like a My Little Pony. Stuff like this I'm going to sell for a couple of bucks at the flea market. So here's some kind of dinosaur. I don't know what the G stands for. A wrestler. Uh, this one looks kind of old. This one, uh, yeah, it says 1993. That's not that old. Just some little figures. Here's a, a, a young lad. Probably Luke Skywalker. Here's a Transformer. Or... Yeah, okay. Here's a, another Skywalker, my little pony. And this is a Transformer in the package. Uh, the iClaudia set. I'm not really sure. This was like a dollar. So this could be good. I don't know which iClaudius it is, though. Let's see. This is probably the, the PBS series. BBC. I don't know if I said PBS. Uh, headphones. These are like a quarter a piece. These come in handy. All right. Um, these are some NFL cufflinks. They were really cheap. Uh, whatever. There's cufflinks in here. 
See what it says on the bottom. You know what? It doesn't matter. The NFL Cup. Here's a Tiki. A Aku brings you happiness and good fortune. So I guess this is Akua. Jesus Christ. All right, I caught that. Uh, if this were filled, this would be worth like 75 and up. I'm not sure. This is empty. I'm hoping that the bottle has some value empty because that's a very rare fragrance that is worth a lot of money. And this is made by Ralph Lauren Monogram. I have a small bottle somewhere. I might lot that just for the hell of it. This has got to be... These got to go on the end of a flagpole or something. I have one that's really big. So now I have three of these. I don't know where the other one is. This is just a like a tiki. This is probably Eskimo, like Inuit or something like that. Inuit. This is pretty cool. Um, this is a fish. This is made by Anchor Hawking. Let's see if I can... Okay, there should be an anchor and a whatever there. And here, let me just show it here. It's kind of neat. It's just a covered kind of jar. Not sure what it's made for, but it's a fish. All right. Um... These are enamel sunglasses, I mean, or glass holders. All right, uh, this says Vincent. And on the back it says Kevin Chen, 2001. This guy makes little teapots, and they're worth like 20 or so on eBay. So if this is worth even $12, I could just throw it on eBay. But it says Vincent, so I didn't notice that before. Maybe it's personal. I bought this for a dollar. Because it's nice, it's old. Uh, I don't know who makes it. Let's see. And I can't turn it over right now. It looks to be like 50s pottery, but I bought it because I wanted the marbles. So, he might have charged me a couple of bucks for this. And it's not even like there were a bunch of good marbles in here. Most of them I'm just going to sell to get my money. But I wanted, like, say this one. If you don't know marbles... Let's see, where is it? Alright, there it is. That's a, that's a better marble. It's old. See the swirl on it? And it, it's got like a fold it. So there's not a lot of them in here. Like this one is new because it's iridescent, right? So it's a mix. It's a mix of some older, like this one's older. Let me see. It isn't a light. Okay. And this one is older, I think. Right. There's a few good ones in here. All right, uh, moving on. Here's some CDs, uh, Adele 21, Final Destination 3D, I think these are like 50 cents, ACDC, and Iron Man, because Iron Man just died, spoiler alert, uh, Destiny Child, best of, that goes straight to the flea market, um, I bought two of these at a yard sale, Bell uh, Versailles, they feel complete, Eau de Cologne, they were $3 each by Jean, Jean Despres, they're good, they're good colognes, I don't really know the value of them. But I don't really care, you know. As long as they're worth, like, 20 that's fine with me. They were originally priced at, where is it? 39 something. 39.50. And then this one, we found this one at the sale where we found, like, a lot of stuff. Like, these, everything was cheap at that sale. She bought this for a dollar. This is Eau de Toilet, Honey Meal, and Lemon Citron, L'Occitane. This is worth, like, 100 Believe it or not. We checked the price on this. Uh, what's this? I don't know what this is. I think this is uh, nail polish. And I think this is makeup. Yeah, Mary Kay. All right. Uh, this would have been good. This is a coach purse. You can see it says coach there. There. And it's in really good shape, except for this. There's some wear, and I don't know if you can see it. I'm putting the sun out of my shade. Let's see. There. Okay. The screen is so it's so bright out here, I can't see anything. But if you can see, they must have did something, screwed up the yellow paint or the yellow coating on it, and they tried to fix it with what looks like nail polish or spray paint. I bought these for the flea market. These are good for uh, keeping CDs and DVDs in place. Uh, 14 minutes. These are just, these were, the, the, the sign said 50 cents. I wanted to them, but they goes, oh, these are multiples. These are a dollar. I'm like, fine, I don't care. And two with nature. All one of, just, if one of these is worth like 12 bucks, it pays for all of them. All time supernatural favorite. This is a doo sealed Guy Lombardo. Mood music of pleasure. These are Reader Digest and Nature's whatever. 
This is the game crap I got today. A Starskin Hutch GameCube game. It's in there. It was a dollar. Nemo. It's in there. It was a dollar. Uh, these could be really good. These, if I'm... Oof, Jesus. All right. If these are what I think they are, they're practice grenades. They're throwing... They're dummy grenades for throwing. To, so, so, like, you can get a sense of what it's like to throw a real grenade so they could see how far you could throw a grenade if you needed to throw a grenade. Um, I don't see any marking on this, but if these are practice dummy grenades, and this could, these could be worth like 60 bucks a piece, I paid 15 for the two at the sale. And the funny thing is, I initially thought they were like two bucks a piece, and they're like, because I was like, oh, so that's two dollars. And then no, 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 because we went to total up. They said those are ten a piece, twenty for two. So I said, uh, take fifteen. And they're like, yeah. And I said, fine. Because I figured, hey, they got to be worth eight or ten a piece. If they had said no, we want twenty firm, I probably would have bought them anyway. This one has some red paint on it. This one does not. I do not see a country of origin anywhere. But I got to do research on these. I'm not hundred percent sure on that. Um, here's the. I bought this, this This was $3. I don't know if I if this was good or whatever, but it's for a PlayStation. It's, it's like a special controller. It could be good. I don't know. And then this was 2 or $3. I don't even know. Maybe it was $4. But I bought these. These are Xbox, I guess, one controllers. Let me see. And then there's there's this thing, too. So I think they're Xbox ones. Plus, there's a headphone. So whatever I paid, 3 5 it doesn't matter. If the controllers are good, I did fine. I bought this shirt. I think I don't know if it was one to three dollars. I don't remember. It's got a, a tiger on. It's really nicely made. It's made by uh, CCM. It's a man size large. It's got nice embroidered patches. Obviously, it's some kind of hockey shirt. These are two dollars. These are actually Timberland boots. Um, they're a little dirty, a little scuffed up, but I bought them to wear. So I don't care. Um, they have this elastic, so they'll fit me if I might just if my ankles ever get fat. All right, um, I paid ten dollars for these. These are Kegels. They're twenty-five pounders. I could have got two twenties also, but uh, to be honest, I'd rather have the money. But these are great for tents. That's what I'm going to use them for. And then I can maybe take some of my other. These are three dollars. It's size ten and a half. They're Nike running, and they are in pretty good shape. I don't think these will fit me. Because I'm an 11. Um, but if, the, if I can't use them or I can't give them to the kid or somebody, I'll sell them. You know? um, here's a Spider-Man watch in a Marvel tin. Tin's beat up. It's not that old. I'm assuming this is 90s. And, of course, I cannot find a date. But I can find out this right away. The watch is, like, new in there. It's, it's, it's uh, an LCD. This is... These were Yu-Gi-Oh! characters. Now, they're off the card and stuff, but they're complete in package. Except for this. Here. I guess. But whatever. The figure is about as pristine as it's going to be. I needed a hammer. I'm going to bring this to the store, and I'm going to take the one I brought there back. This is like the coolest thing I bought today. And this is a coat rack made out of what looks to be driftwood. Um, the lady had for 20. I was like, hey, take 15, right? And she was like, okay, right? I would have paid 20 for it, but uh, I'm going to use this for hats in the store. And I think I can display up to uh, one, two, three, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight hats so that'll be pretty cool because i'll put the, the hats in there and then on the bottom i'll put a bucket or something with more hats this way at least i can display hats uh i didn't really buy this bag i used this bag to carry stuff here's a bucket of cars i paid six dollars for all of this it was like five dollars that's gross it's got hair let me just focus in so you could see the hair <laughs> uh, but there are a bunch of good cars in here yeah you know, I don't think they're old, you know, I mean, well, they're not old, but it doesn't matter. Uh, see, some of them are garbage, actually, like this is garbage, but I'm not going to sort through them now. It's just, it's a box of cards. All right, and then the last thing I got were these records. I don't, there's nothing really good in here, but they were a buck a piece. I think I'm going to take them a flea market. 
uh, Elvis Costello, Marvin Gaye, Kansas, The Vapors, Leonard Skinner, Boston. I might check the price on some of these. Adam and the Ants, Stand and Deliver. Adam and the Ants. Who I actually, if you don't know Adam and the Ant music, it's it's fun club music. Sticks, Jeff Hotel Live, Sticks, Doctor Hook, The Tramps, Joan Jett, Rick James, Beach Boys, Foreigners. The Records never heard of them. Rat, Rat a Tat, Cheap Trick, Foreigner, Duran Duran, Super Tramp, Sticks, Pat Benatar, Queen Two, uh, Not in Great Shape, Squeeze. This is probably when they were their punk and Bruce Springsteen and the Thompson Twins. I might just take those out tomorrow because I've decided I got records. I'm going to take out some records. All right, that's everything I got today. Uh, 20 minutes long. Eh, not too bad. There's going to be a little eyeball. Where? Right? Right? Here. Uh, click on that. You'll see people I want you to subscribe to. At the end of the video, there'll be some people's names I want you to subscribe to. And the... Uh, my description, there's uh, things that I want you to like like our Facebook page and subscribe to. Um, if you want to see the live hunting, go to Scummy Resellers. And uh, if you want to find me tomorrow, I'll be at uh, Lynnhurst in uh, the shopping right, <laughs> the shop right parking lot in Lynnhurst. Just you can find that through JC Promotions or message me. All right, uh, AJ's going to be there too. Anyway, I'm out of here. Bye.